Okay, here's a bit of a novelty device. It's called the Waving Cat. I think it's used to beckon people into your stores. Uh, it is a little bit of interesting engineering that goes on these devices. Let me just stop the video for a second. There is a, a small solar panel uh, at the bottom here. And uh, then in the insides, uh, there's actually some relatively interesting electronics. Uh, when you build really cheap things, uh, the electronics get uh, quite a challenge to design correctly. All right, I just opened it up and you can sort of see the back side of the device and uh, let us pause it again. You can see on the uh, bottom here, there's a coil of wire. And then just above it is a pendulum. Let's see if I can just get it to stop. It's a little clearer. Okay, so we're here it's a bit clearer. You can see there is a, a couple of uh, metal devices just above the coil. Let's get my cursor to show where we're at here. So here we go. Um, there's a magnet here, it looks like, and there's a coil of wire here. And let us start the video again. You can see it uh, oscillates back and forth, uh, waving the cat's hand. Let's uh, take a look at the bottom of it. Uh, now here's the bottom, and uh, we can see uh, just two components. So lots of clever things going on here. Uh, the solar cell connections come in here. There's a little tiny capacitor to store energy. There's an integrated circuit below. And then these little super fine wires go off to that coil of wire. And uh, that's it. That's all there is here for assembly because the, the budget to build these things is pretty darn low. If we take that uh, black blob off, we're going to sort down the engineering here to see how you can build such an inexpensive thing. All right, this is a semiconductor die. It's, oh gosh, maybe half a millimeter by a millimeter. It's a tiny little thing. Uh, so, of course, it's very cheap. Um, first things first, uh, this here is probably a capacitor. Uh, basically, it's a relaxation oscillator. It's going to run at a few kilohertz. And then up here, it looks like there's probably a counter. The name of the game basically is to start it out with your waving cat with the pendulum stopped. You want to basically pulse it with a bit of energy. Um, that's going to be through a FET here. Um, you give it a bit of energy, and then basically that causes the magnet to be repelled. And then you stop, basically, and then you wait as the uh, uh, element comes back, and it'll basically induce a voltage. And there's going to be some sense circuitries over here, and it'll see the voltage in the reverse uh, direction coming into the device, basically saying the pendulum has moved back. And then in here is just a smattering of logic, just probably a little tiny state machine. Basically just enough logic to basically see the pendulum come back and then give it another punch of energy. Um, and then eventually as it hits a resonant point, of course, a steady state, uh, it just pushes it back and forth. So extremely clever little device. Uh, this is uh, probably done on a very ancient process node, but I'm sure each die costs less than a penny to assemble. Uh, and then, of course, you can produce these uh, somewhat charming uh, waving cats. So, uh, engineering uh, at the very lowest level when there's absolutely no budget to be had. You can find all sorts of crazy little circuits like this hanging out um, in the uh, dollar store.